Hi, let's solve this question. In the chart, so we have been given this chart. The outer circle represents the age distribution of subscribers to Beautiful Garden Magazine and the inner circle represents the age distribution of subscribers to Garden Joy Magazine. So we can see we have two magazines here, Garden Joy and this, the age distribution for subscribers of Garden Joy is represented by this inner circle and this is Beautiful Garden Magazine. The age distribution of subscribers for Beautiful Garden Magazine is here and you can see the age distribution is given here. So this is the first segment 18 to 24 which is here this one for beautiful garden and this one for garden joy and let's check another one 35 to 44 so it is this one for beautiful garden and this one for garden joy all right neither magazine has any subscribers less than 18 years old so we can see that there's no subscriber less than 18 years old so basically this point here is the starting point of this pie and the age increases as we move from here to here. So 18 to 24, 25 to 34, 35 to 44, 45 to 54, 55 to 64, and 65 plus. So this is the starting point of this uh, 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 of this pie chart. With this, let's understand the question stem. It can be determined from the chart that the mean, median, or mode of the ages of the subscribers to beautiful garden is between 44 and 55 years. So we have been given this segment and we have to find whether the mean or the median or the mode of subscribers to beautiful garden lies in this segment. So let's get back to our chart. All right, so we have to find whether the mean, median or mode of the subscribers for beautiful garden lies in this range. Now this range is approximately represented by this segment here. So we have to find whether the mean or the median or the mode uh, for, for subscribers of this magazine lies in this segment. So let's start with mean. In this distribution, can we find the mean of, of the uh, ages here, of the ages that are given here? No, we cannot find the mean. The mean can lie anywhere. We cannot say that the mean will definitely lie in this segment. So mean cannot be the correct answer. Let's evaluate mode. So mode is the most frequently occurring value. Now in this distribution, again, uh, we, we cannot find the age that is most frequent. Uh, basically, uh, the the age which is uh, most of the subscribers have that age. We cannot determine that age, right? So we cannot determine the mode here. We cannot de determine the age that is most frequently observed for these subscribers from this pie chart. Let's evaluate median now. Now, since this pie chart has the starting point, right? The age is increasing like this. So the median can be found by drawing this line here. Right, so the median will lie here, and yes, the median actually lies in this segment. So the correct answer here is median. So let's mark median for this one, and let's read the second statement. Whereas that, now what does that refer to? This that refers to the answer for the first blank, which is median. So the second statement says that the median for subscribers to garden joy is between uh, we have been given these options so here you can see th that the second statement is actually dependent on the first statement if you do not find the answer to the first statement correctly you will probably select the incorrect uh, an incorrect answer for the second statement as well so uh, let's see where the median for subscribers to garden joy lies so now we have to find the median for garden joy so again the median can be found by following this line. So this line uh, crosses the inner pie because Garden Joy, uh, the subscribers for Garden Joy are represented by the inner pie. So this line crosses the inner pie in this segment, which is 35 to 44. So the median for the subscribers uh, uh, of Garden Joy lies in this range. So the correct answer here is 34 and 45. Hope that helps. Happy learning.